think about this next story. Las Cruces City Council met yet again to discuss the minimum wage ordinance in Las Cruces. ABC 7's Josie Ortegón is live from our New Mexico mobile newsroom. Josie. A fairly quiet meeting here at City Hall. No one was rallying outside, but there were plenty of passionate supporters and opponents in attendance. This will put a lot of people out of business. Restaurant owner Vince Vaccaro says an increase will put his business in jeopardy. Minimum wage advocate Sarah Nolan says she's keeping an eye on council's every move. There's still a few on council that are working on behalf of big business in Las Cruces to say, you know, let's delay implementation. The law is set to kick in on January 1st. Two future increases will be voted on in two weeks. In the meantime, council is discussing exemptions to the ordinance. Council is currently scheduled to meet in July to see how the law is affecting the community and businesses. But Mayor Ken Miyagashima and Councilor Greg Smith want to move that timetable up. We should look at what this is doing to our local economy. Is it benefiting us or is it hurting us? Uh, is it, you know, is it doing something to how many people are employed? Is it upping those numbers or is it reducing those numbers? And I think that's a very smart thing for us to do is look at this after it's been implemented and say, okay, this is working the way we think it should work or it's not. Some supporters and opponents say six months is hardly enough time to observe any real change. That six months isn't enough time. Um, even their own Office of Management of Budget here in the city, they themselves had said six months is not enough data. Um, let's look at a year, um, that that would give us a good amount of data to study. It can take at least a year. So I like the idea that it's going to be tracked, but a six month period sh will show you nothing. Council will meet again on December 1st, and public input will be allowed then. Live in Las Cruces with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Josie Ortagon, ABC 7. Okay, Josie, thank you. The man who had